What's up guys, this is Joe Sambo. I'm here in my little strip club here in San Diego. It's been a little slow lately, which uh, is actually cool for me. I just like to come here and take a nap, wake up, order a sandwich, just kind of chill out. Parking is easy. <laughs> I kind of like it this way. This whole social distancing has actually been better for me in some ways. I mean, there's a lot of girls that I used to have to be 50 feet away from for legal purposes. Um, and now because of social distancing, I only have to be six feet away. Uh, uh. <laughs> Who would have thought social distancing actually enhanced my freedom? Thank you very much. <laughs> You know, I've been doing comedy for so many years now, and all these people that watch my stuff, they always ask me the same question. They say, dude, aren't you supposed to be getting better with time? <laughs> my friends that watch me do this comedy, they always say the same thing. They say, damn, Joe Samo, you suck at comedy. Uh, don't quit your day job. But the problem is, I suck at my day job too. I went to this motivational speaker and I told him, yeah, I'm a lawyer and I'm also trying to be a comedian. Uh, you know, this motivational speaker, he watched my comedy. He called me back. He goes, oh, sorry. There's absolutely nothing I could do for you. <laughs> Damn it, motivational speaker sucks. You know, I've been so lonely during this whole social distancing. I've been talking to Alexa, that Amazon Alexa, all the time. I might be the first person in the whole world that Alexa will no longer respond to. <laughs> And then there's this girl who I used to be able to call and, and talk to her and tell her my problems and whatnot, and she then blocked me. Again, I am probably the first person in the world that got blocked by the National Suicide Phone Line. It's gotten so bad for me, and I've gotten so lonely that when scammers call me on the phone, I actually try to converse with them. <laughs> I even give them my credit card number just so I can have a longer conversation with them. This one scammer from India told me, Sir, we no longer will call you. <laughs> Damn it! Not even the scammers will call me. You know, the world is almost like a weird zoo. Like the other day, I saw some guy jogging, and I told my wife, Look, I see a human out there. <laughs> And then I got so bored, I just said, screw it, I hired a life coach. I must have hired the worst life coach in the world. That dude, after a month, asked me if he could borrow two grand. So what the fuck, I'm out two grand now to a life coach. You know, uh, for those that know me very well, so I'm Iraqi American, and I'm actually very happy now because Arab Americans are not the most hated people in America. The Chinese took us over. <laughs> We're not the most hated. The other day, there was a big white guy in a big white truck with a big American flag and a Confederate flag. And for the first time in my life, I didn't have to run away from him. <laughs> Instead, he waved at me. A dude with a Confederate flag, a white guy with a Confederate flag waved at me in Arab. <laughs> I was so excited. Then I said, ah, fuck this guy. So I looked at him and I said, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Goddamn infidel, he just drove off. You know, my wife has been, she's had it with me and the kids uh, staying at home all this time. She sat us all down and she said, you know, oh, you guys, I expect this and I expect this and I expect this. What can we do to meet these expectations? And I looked at her and I said, I got an idea, babe. Why don't we just lower them? <laughs> that always seems to work. <laughs> Uh, by the way, so that I could uh, deduct the expenses of doing all of this, I have to put in a word for the law firm. If you have been injured in a car crash, Joe Samuel will fight for your rights. Hey folks, tell me what you're up to. Drop me a line. Let me know what you're up to. I'm bored. I want to hear from you.